G'day and welcome back. And today we're talking about the difference between the channels tab on YouTube and featured channels. What's the difference? Well, I'm gonna show you right now and I'll show you how to use both features. First of all, you can see here on my channel that we've got a number of tabs across the top here. We've got the home, the videos, the playlist, community, channels, and about. Now this channels page is quite simply this. They are the channels that I am subscribed to. So if I have my setting in my YouTube studio set for my subscriptions to be public, then they will appear here under channels. If I turn that off, they will no longer appear in the channels tab. Okay, so what is and how do I find featured channels? Well, featured channels are actually shown on the home page if a creator decides he wants to show, or she wants to show uh, the featured channels. If you scroll down, I don't have a featured channels uh, set up on mine currently. You can see I've just got some horizontal playlists. So let's jump in and I'll show you how set up featured channels if you want to highlight a set number of channels they may be ultimate channels that belong to you as a creator they might be your live streaming channel your clips channel but you want to maybe cross promote a little bit then you can use featured channels for that or you could uh, uh, show similar channels in your niche but anyway let's get into how you would do that first of all you got to go to youtube studio or of course youtube studio or you can just go straight to customize channel. So we're gonna do that. What that's gonna do is open up straight into the customization menu. As you can see down the left-hand side there, we're straight into the customization menu and we're on the first tab, which is layout, which is where we wanna be. And you can see we've got a section here called featured sections. And I can add up to 10 sections, which I've used a fair portion of them. But if I wanna add featured channels, then I click add selection. And if I scroll down to the bottom, they're off the list here, I can show my subscriptions, which are already on the channel page anyway. The channels tab already has that. Or I can show featured channels. I'm gonna select featured channels. I get this dialog box. I can use the section title to give this section a title. So I won't just say featured channels. I could say these are the channels that I recommend or these are my other awesome channels, whatever you want to call it, that might be enticing for someone to go down and check them out. They see them. So I could say channels I recommend for YouTube. All you have to do is search a channel. So say I want to, let's put in my good friend, Daniel Batal. Say I want to feature his channel. I type his name in and I can see his channel there. Um, I might want to add someone like D Nimmin, and you can see that's also giving me Nick Nimmin as well. So I might want to, if I want to add him as well, this list is going to open up to at least before you have to start scrolling. It's probably going to want to show five or six. So let's let's add a few more. Let's go with the theme just for the tutorial purposes. Ranji Johnson. We've got six there. That's enough for our demonstration purchases purposes. Purchases. But you know, I could keep adding them. I can reorder them by just moving them up and down like that. But I'm gonna click done. And then you'll see right now at the bottom, see how I can only see five. It's gonna show me five visibly. And obviously I'll be able to click in the, into it to get more. Um, before I save that to my channel, I need to make sure that I click publish and up in the top right hand side because that will actually save the changes and you can see thinking and then there it says change supply go to channel it goes back out to my home page let's mute that and then if we scroll down because i've got it at the bottom at the moment oh it's not showing why is it not showing just to make sure this is going to show properly i'm going to grab my feature channels and move it to uh, there so it's Right above, I've got um, three playlists and then my feature channels. Let's publish that. Let's publish, go to channel. Now 
there it is it just took a minute or two to update in regards to like a profile picture take might take a little while to update or a channel banner just the, the layout it just takes a minute or two to uh, propagate out to YouTube servers after making the change and you can see it shows me the first five we knew it was a, a account like that and there's a sixth one so you can keep scrolling along if you had extra ones in there but that's how you add the feature channel section so feature channels appear on your home page as a horizontal section and the channels menu on the on your page is just going to show you your public subscriptions now once you add the feature channel section it also adds a section to the channel section so you get a subscription section and you get a featured channel section and so I and I can look at either or if I go subscriptions only then I get like all my subscriptions all the channels I'm subscribed to uh, all in a row there so your channel section shows your subscriptions your public ones and your featured channel section you set that up in the customization menu you can also have them appear in the home page with their own little um, shelf as well. That's the feature channel section. The channels tab on your YouTube channel shows you all the different things you can do. Now, if I didn't want everyone to know the channels that I'm subscribed to, how do I turn that off? How do I make that private? Well, you need to go into your settings, which means you go up to your top right hand uh, main menu and you jump down to settings. In the privacy section, if you scroll down to there, you've got playlists and subscriptions, keep all my saved playlists private, and you've got keep all my subscriptions private. As soon as I click that, no one will know what channels I'm subscribed to. They will no longer appear on my channel. So let me click that. That uh, your changes are saved according to the little pop-up at the bottom. Then you can see, when we go back to my channel, and you see now all I see is my feature channels. My subscriptions have disappeared completely. So now the channel section is only showing the featured items because I've, I've toggled that off in the privacy settings on my channel. So now I don't show my subscriptions publicly. Now the downside of not showing your subscription publicly is that say you uh, I was on a live stream and you subscribe to a channel, then it's not gonna trigger the uh, an alert to say, hey, uh, such and such subscribe to your channel uh, so as a as a user if you want to be acknowledged for your subscription on a live stream that isn't going to happen if you have that turned off so that is the given the take of having that option toggled on or off so if you've got any comments about the channels tab on YouTube or if you've got any questions about the featured channels and how to set that up now I've shown you how if you've got any further questions let me know in the comments below. Well, this is Doug from Doug Houston YouTube. And watch these videos. Catch you later. Subscribe to Doug Houston YT for more tech for content creation.